So that's John Payne, J-O-H-N. J-O-N, A-T-H-A-N. Okay, J-O-N. A-T-H-A-N. Thank you very much. All right, and uh, operations maintenance, you said, or? Uh, aviation maintenance. Aviation maintenance. Yeah, unmanned aircraft. Okay, very well, sounds good. Uh, this morning, I uh, had a mission brief. Uh, shortly after that, uh, did the pre-flight, get the aircraft ready for launch. Uh, launched the aircraft, they're flying a training mission right now. Um, doing maintenance on other aircraft while waiting for this flight to come down. And then once we recover, we can defuel it and refuel it and get it ready to fly tomorrow. Um, on the battlefield, uh, we can do um, you know, real-time surveillance, uh, look at what's taking place on the ground. Um, we can aid troops in contact uh, as far as being able to feed that video back to the command center. They can make their decisions from there. Uh, we can do convoy support. Um, you know, make sure nothing gets attacked, or if it does, point out where the enemy is, that sort of thing. Um, on other missions, we can look for people in placing IEDs. Um, we can do surveillance uh, for high-value targets. Um, just keep a lookout on the bad guys, see what they're up to, um, see if they're going to make movement. So, um, gives us eyes on the skies for the battlefield. Um, so if we need to redirect uh, different movements or uh, redirect troops, uh, we have a laser pointer, laser designator, so we can illuminate targets, uh, paint targets uh, with infrared signatures for missiles to come in. Um, it all starts uh, with time in the hangar. Uh, we have uh, daily inspections. We have reoccurring inspections uh, on the aircraft, uh, just regular maintenance like you might do on your automobile, um, air filters, oil filters, that sort of thing. Um, we have to prepare for flight, uh, load fuel into it. It's not as simple as a normal car when you're putting gas in it. Uh, but we have to make sure everything's done properly. Um, but once the aircraft's good to go, um, sign off the logbooks, uh, you get a second set of eyes on, they reinspect the aircraft just to make sure all, your, all the work was done correctly. Um, from there, uh, push it out to the launcher, um, do pre-flight checks with the operators, 
um, just simulating everything you'd encounter in flight on the ground just to make sure it's good to go, passes inspection. Uh, from there, we uh, mount it on the launcher, and once we have uh, clearance through tower, uh, we can launch the aircraft. Good. All right, Sergeant uh, Fenning, P-F-E-N-N-I-N-G. Can you get your uh, first name and spell, please? It's Ian, I-A-N. Simple enough. And uh, what is your uh, title here? Not your MOS, but what is your you know, title? Uh, UAV operator. So today, uh, our training mission is essentially checklist discipline. Uh, we have new operators here that are learning the system, learning how to fly, uh, navigating the airspace, and the rules and, and procedures to do so. So the UAS in today's fight is literally the forward observer. Uh, we take the forward observer as a human out, out of the battlefield. So I think in, in a lot of ways, we save lives. Um, we're able to do BDA, we're able to offer 24-hour surveillance. Um, it's a very powerful thing in today's military. The UAS can bring a whole lot for de disaster response efforts and the fact that we can monitor ongoing uh, issues on the ground. Um, we're able to direct police, emergency uh, vehicles and things to certain areas with pinpoint accuracy. The job is, is quite demanding, but at the same time is extremely rewarding knowing that what you do here is simple as it seems sitting in a box and watching the ground with the camera is very important, especially overseas. I've been overseas and I've used this system and I'd like to think at the end of the day that I've saved lives doing so.